Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Uh, I want to give you a friendly reminder up front. Uh, we do Sunday cinemas. Uh, we're going to be doing that every single weekend, uh, every Sunday in October. So if you want to vote on what movies we watch, um, all the movies that uh, I will have up on the poll are free on Tubi. If you want to do that, hop over to the community page on my main page. I'll try to link you down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, hop over there and vote on what movie you want to watch. Uh, but for now, let's jump into the review. Today we were talking about a book that I read last year, or maybe the year before, can't quite remember, but that is Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Cesar. The reason we are talking about this one today is because the sequel, uh, Clown in the Cornfield 2, Friendo Lives, is out, and I will be reviewing that toward the end of the month. Um, another thing is uh, this first week has no theme, but next week will be Classics Week. The week three will be Indie and Small Press, and then we'll go back to just just various horror content on the final week. Uh, cool. Uh, Awesomely enough, um, we have five weekends in this uh, in this month, so we will be having five Sunday cinemas and five game nights. Anyways, on with the review. So, Clown in a Cornfield follows uh, teenagers. It is a slasher film in book format, um, and that is what I liked and disliked about it. Uh, I it, I give this one uh, three stars. I remember it quite clearly. Um, I remember the first, uh, I would say the first quarter of the book being relatively boring. <clears throat> and that's the, really the problem with slash. I have found, you might disagree and that's fine, um, the, slasher, uh, the slasher build in book format, uh, it gives you more time to flesh out the characters early on. But unfortunately this book falls into the same traps that a lot of the movies do which is very little character development and a whole lot of predictability. Um, slashers, uh, slasher films and books tend to follow a certain formula, and if you like that kind of thing, that's great. I do, but I tend to prefer it in visual format. Even so far as to say uh, My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones, uh, everyone is just raving about. I thought it was another three-star book. It's, it's a setup. Um, and it, it's the same setup over and over again. Um, and that can be fine if you're a fan of that, you know, genre. With me, I'm kind of tired of it. You know, I've seen hundreds upon hundreds of slasher films, and I just prefer to watch it rather than read it. It's the same way that I feel about uh, sci-fi and fantasy. I prefer to watch those things than read it. It's just a personal preference. Um, with this one, uh, I also want to harp, harp, harp on the fact that uh, this is gory as hell. This is violent. This is uh, lewd and crude. It is everything you you expect from a slasher film. It is YA, young adult, but only because it falls into the same tropes as you know. It's a coming of age kind of coming of age story. Um, not really coming of age at all, but um, it is about a uh, young adult, uh, young adults, you know, and that's the only reason it falls into the YA category. If you're thinking, oh. YA horror isn't intense enough, it's not disturbing enough, so on and so forth. You need to pull your head out of the dirt because there's plenty of very gruesome and horrifying YA horror out there, and this is one of those books. Um, when the action kicks off, it is uh, very cool. I, I liked it a lot. Um, but it's that first 25% and the predictability for me. Um, there at the end you have a whole bunch of twists. Uh, I didn't really gel with the twists and why uh, people were, you know, why people were being killed. Um, and it, it, it had a bit of social commentary in there um, that I will uh, succinctly put, you, you could say this book is OK Boomer the horror novel. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, it yeah, I, I, I don't I don't want to get into spoilers here, but that's the one thing I just... And you'll see multiple reviews that say this, where the last quarter of the book is one big eye roll. And unfortunately, that that's, that was the case for me, too. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm older. Um, I'm not a boomer, but I don't know if it's because I'm older or what. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not just... I'm just not down with the kids or whatever, but... <laughs> Lord. Anyways, and make myself laugh. Um, but when it, when action does finally kick in, I love the kills. I loved the uh, I loved the first initial twist when you find out who 
friendo is and i'm trying not to give anything away i did like that aspect um but again it still follows like the the scream protocol um so there's not a whole lot new here um it is a very cool concept murderous clown in a cornfield like how do we get here why is there a clown in the cornfield two things that you don't think go together go together here um i have not read the sequel yet but i will be reading it this month and it, the review for that one will be at the end of it i just wanted to make sure that i had a review up on the channel for this one because i initially didn't and the reasoning behind that is i like adam cesar um he's one of the people who uh he, one of the three inspirations it was todd the librarian um and uh another person i'm not going to name because i have since uh had a anyways we're not going to get into that but uh there was adam cesar and then todd the librarian so i'm a big fan of cesar's uh, youtube channel and he was one of the people who made me want to start my own youtube channel um so here i am and it's all really all because of him and two other people uh, but especially the horror content, I'm here because, I mean, even the, he has the Black T-Shirt Project and I have the Stephen King Theorist. Um, he's the one who inspired me to start my own series. Um, so I like him. I, I lo love, absolutely love his other books. I don't think I've ever given him below four stars until now, unfortunately. Um, the reason why I held off putting a, a review up is because I want this book to be successful. If nothing else, this will get more young adults or even kids reading horror and I am all for that whether or not I fanboyed over it or not I want more people to read this book so I've held off for an entire year or more um, and I even waited for uh, you know two three months before I posted my review on Goodreads when I initially read it because I wanted this book to be successful luckily it has been successful there's talks of movies um, it got a sequel all that good stuff I even read the afterword for Clown in the Cornfield 2 which is funny um, I like to read the afterwards uh, first I know that's weird considering I don't like spoilers um, but I just skim and one of the things that Cesar said was if you were looking at this if you found this book and go wow they really made a sequel to this one like so many people do for uh, so many different horror movies um, then you're not alone because Adam felt that same way I thought that was funny but anyways um, have you read clown in the cornfield one or two please don't spoil anything if you read two uh, but let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo but until next time I have been E you've been you this has been another episode of 31 days of Halloween I'll talk to you guys later bye bye